M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. As you know, Marcus made the dock software for the TID Radio H3, and I absolutely love that radio because it does airband, marine band, VHF, UHF, it's Bluetooth programmable, broadcast radio, torch, it's small and handy. I just think it's a lovely radio, and all of the big YouTubers have been testing it for, you know, for bad transmissions. And the newer firmware has really improved that. So well done to TID Radio H3. So the, uh, there is a newer version of this work in progress, but wow, come on, Marcus, you're just doing such good work on this. So let's have a look. If you look here, you've got a nice long list, squelch, backlight, battery save, you know, it's a long list. I'm not gonna read the whole lot. If you right click each one, you can change it. Look, squelch, just lower it to three. And you can see the device in the background. It's connected via USB-C, which means when we are receiving, we will hear what's happening. Also, remember with the TRD Radio H3, you can program it. You can do the firmware with USB-C. You don't have to use uh, the twin pin lead. And when you do, it's just a UV5R1 anyway. So you've got all these things. Look, language, just right click in here, voice prompts. You get the idea. Look at all that. Anything I right click, there you go. So have a play with that. Now to change from VFO to memory, you just tap the screen. So this is memory. I'm just literally clicking on the VFO. It's not touch screen, of course. And then we can go up and down through our different channels. And I've got quite a few programmed on this thing. Now there's my local hub net there. Let's see if I can get that get that to transmit so we can actually listen to it. Right, we just fired up Hubnet as well. So we are listening to the radio, you know, as we use this dock software. And uh, let's have a look up here. Now there's a couple of new things I've not seen before. You've got this GPS thing showing up here. So now I'm not sure what that is because I didn't realize this radio did GPS. There's all your memories. Look at that. Wow. I'm just so impressed with this. I am so impressed. Uh, I'm going to look at the specs in a minute to see if there is GPS on this device because it's definitely, if I tick the little satellite, um, you know, it goes to this, it goes to the main screen for now. And I'm learning as I do this. So you've got VHF, UHF listing there. Oh, that's the power. The sort of, let me just turn it down. I need to get it back onto the A band. I'll do that in a second. I know that there is a power programming calibration thing here, and you can see it there, UHF calibrate VHF. Now I'm not gonna take any risks with that. I don't really know how to use it. But that's been a problem. We, we, we've we actually had a problem changing that. So I need to watch um, Marcus's latest video, I think, on this, because I just randomly decided to have a little tinker with it. So anyway, there's that. There's your broadcast. And let's put in my favorite 94.300, which is Radio 4. Can we name it? Not sure if we can, but anyway, and you can scroll down. Um, tuner mode, channel for beard, not sure what that means. What's this? No, flashing with USB-C does not work. Okay, interesting. So uh, select firmware file. So yeah, this is the bit where you'll be able to um, browse and add firmware. Okay, but it looks like you're gonna need to use the twin cable. Select firmware file and click start. Wow, so easy. And all the firmware downloads are there for you um, from TID Radio. So he's really come a long way with this. Let's click the clock now. We'll go back to the main view. There's the B. So to do the B, I believe we just press, see that? The little arrows. Remember, you can do all this with your keyboard as well. So if I go to the B section, hit here, and then we can type a uh, frequency just, I need to make sure I'm on the right side. B, we go 145.600. There you are, look. And we're on there. Um, now let's have a look at these clocks. Just click in the clock, see what happens. We've got a minus and full screen, of course. 
So we can do full screen as well. And step, change the step. Go back to A. We can save, you know, save our configuration, download, save. Give it a name, save. That's why my computer is full of things. And then you can obviously bring it in as well. Loading a saved, yeah. So you can load a saved file. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anything here. Uh, tone, so here where it says NT, you right click. Let's go back to the A band. Now it worked the other, oh, let's go to VFO. Oh, we're in, we've got split mode as well. Have I enabled that? Because it is lit up yellow at the moment. So split mode. So if I right click, look, CTS, choose your CTCSS and other types. On the, and you've got it on the split mode as well. So we click the power here, top left. That's your power. Like so, low, and then wide and narrow band. Is that your Roger beep? And one of these is split mode. Let me get the right one. Uh, da, 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 well, I'm not really sure yet, but what's this one? A, not sure what the B means. Okay, but it's there and it's split. So I think that pretty much covers a lot of the changes, but cool, you're busy, Marcus. Literally, PTTID start, PTTN start. Tell us what that's all about. Halo code. Kill code. I will watch the video, honest. Hey, look, it's got my DTMF in there that I've got pre programmed. That's Hubnet. Um, the one thing I haven't done yet is actually transmitting. Uh, so if I go back to my memories, let's just quickly look at transmitting a minute. So that's just that I don't even know if it does. So yeah, I, I need to, I'll watch the video now. But anyway, hopefully, give you a good overview and lots of links in the description. Massive thanks to Marcus at Nick Shaw and the Facebook page is where you go to, to download the software. I'll put that link in as well. That's the latest one. Let's just see what the comments are. Added more radio settings than FM tuner settings. And then it said, thanks to TOD Radio for supplying me with the memory map of the radio. Cool, fair play. So, you know, TRD Radio are working with them, with Nick, with Marcus on this. And there's the zip. And so we just download the zip and it might ask you for the, there it is, I just literally just double click the XE and just run it. Okay, that's all I did and then it just opened up with a shortcut. Um, you might have to run, what do you call it, the 8.4 Windows thing. Um, I'll put that link in the description as well, but it should just run it for you automatically. Um, thanks to TRD Radio who always provide really good support and remember with TRD Radio you can also use uh, their software you can use chirp yeah you can use od master and od master actually allows you to program uh, using the pc as well uh, as well so bye for now seven three all the best